Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get IPython notebook inside Visual Studio Code. So the first step is to make sure you have the Python extension downloaded. So to get the extension you go to click this symbol and you search for the Python extension and make sure the one you download is from Microsoft. Alternatively, you can also go to View, Extensions, and be able to get to this. And once you have the Python extension downloaded right here, you can just open your IPython notebook. So, for example, I can click on this, right click, and say Open with Code. As you can see, the IPython notebook opens right here. The second way to, for you to create a Python notebook from inside Visual Studio Code, there are two ways you could do it. You could go to File, New File, and once you create a new file, you come down here and click on Plain Text and change it to, and type in Python and click on Jupyter. Then you go to File, and when you do that right here, it changes from plain text to Jupyter. Then you go to File, Save, and let's save this as Test, and click Save. As you can see, this has been saved as an IPython notebook. And when you click on this symbol, you can convert an IPython notebook to a regular Python notebook. The third way to get IPython notebook in Visual Studio Code is to click on your keyboard, Control Shift P if you're on Windows or Command Shift P if you're on Mac. And then you type in Python, semicolon, create. As you can see, Create new blank Jupyter Notebook shows up and you click on it and the new Jupyter Notebook shows up inside Visual Studio Code. And that is how you get IPython Notebooks inside Visual Studio Code. So you could open an existing notebook inside Visual Studio Code. You can create a new one by typing Command Shift P or Control Shift P. Or you could just click File, New Python, New File, and then change the, th the type of file it is down here. So I hope you like this video and, and hope you find it helpful. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And be on the lookout for more tutorial videos like this. Bye!